Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today we're going to put together a PC for my boy Lukey. So he is a Fortnite enthusiast. The other kids have gaming computers already. He's been playing on the Xbox. So we're going to up his game to 90 to 100 frames per second with this brand new computer. If you get any sort of vibration in the screen there, it's because I have this set up on my tripod on my table. But, so first things first, we got ourselves a thermal take case. Let me just get back so you can see this. It's the V200 RGB. It's got three lights and fans in there. Well, fans with lights, rather. Here we go. Make sure you can see it properly. And they'll change different colors. You can customize each one of them. So we're going to put that in there. So for storage space, actually, you know what? We'll talk about power first. So we've got ourselves this here Ryzen 5 processor. I can't remember which model it is. Let me see... Ah, the 2600X 6 core 12 thread processor. It has 3.6 gigahertz base speed with up to 4.2 gigahertz max boost. So, ta da! Power of Ryzen. There's the chip right there. Better be Ryzen and not falling. So don't want to actually drop it. That's funny, huh? <laughs> Alright, so we're going to put that in a gigabyte board because I'm a fan of gigabyte boards. Whoop. We got our Arctic Silver Thermal Paste. So here we go. Got our Gigabyte AB350 Gaming 3 Motherboard. USB 3.1 Gen 2 NVMe PCIe slot VR ready. Well, it better VR ready for us, isn't that right? And just so you know, my, my 10 year old son is helping me put this together. He's sitting over there on the sideline getting ready to doing some push ups, getting ready so we can start doing this build. All right, AMD Ryzen Desktop 2000 ready. Pretty sweet. Socket AM4, which will support our second generation Ryzen 5 processor. For storage, we opted for the traditional route and the new route. We got the PCIe, PCIe Gen 3 SSD. So we've got 240 gigabytes of SSD storage. And then we've got a traditional 500 gigabyte standard hard drive. And this is a Western Digital. You might be wondering why I went with 500 megabytes, and that's because I got this hard drive for $17. Uh, I did get some refurbished stuff. I got a refurbished video card. So we went with the refurbished. It's a MSI Radeon RX 580, 4 gigabyte overclocked edition, which should get us 95 to 100 frames per second on our Fortnite fully maxed out at 1080p, which is good, huh? A lot better than that 60, megahertz, that 60 hertz live, huh? 60 frames per second. So, and this is actually an open box board. The board retails for 120 bucks. I got an open box one for $62. So if you're curious what this open box board looks like, it basically looks brand new. Looks like they never did anything with it. It came with all the hardware, all the extra stuff. So, I mean, it's got everything in there from the device drivers, cables, and all the goodies. So we're good to go on that front. Now for memory, we picked up some G-Skill Rip Jaws. We got a eight gigabyte stick for now. We're gonna upgrade that later, but for right now, and just so you know, total cost for this build was 570, like $578, $580, bucks, somewhere around there. And that was with tax and shipping. So we're talking the Gen 2 Ryzen 5 processor up to 4.2 gigahertz, 6 3.6 gigahertz baseline speed, eight gigabytes of RAM. We've got an eight, we've got a uh, RX 580 4 gigabyte video card. We got this Thermal Take nice LED case. And then for power, we got our Thermal Take 600 watt power supply, which will power us well from now and into the future. And then a dollar zip ties at the dollar store. So we're going to get all this set up and ready so we can go into the prep phase for the case. Why don't you join us in the next section? All right, so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and take this case out of the box. So we'll unbox the case. Easy peasy, just using some dull scissors here so we don't end up cutting ourselves. And that would be a tragedy. Alright, so let's see what we got here. We get it. There we go. Styrofoam off. 
All right, I got styrofoam off the bottom on one side. Get styrofoam number two off. All right, let's stand this baby up. Oh, here's the manual. Ta -da. Take this plastic off of it so it can breathe. So can bring this case to life. With all sorts of pulse of goodness. All right, there we go. So let's get a good, good up close look at this case. There you go. Not too shabby there, huh? Take a look at the front here. Takes this plastic off. It's probably be easier if I weren't holding this. this plastic's kicking my butt. There we go. All right, this is going to be a real beauty once we get it fired open. All right. There we go. So everybody can see. So on the front here, we got our power button, we got our reset button, RGB button for the lights, we got a USB, probably a 3.1, well, there we go, there's our USB 3.0, regular USB, auxiliary input, mic, and another standard USB, probably 2.1. This one off, we got a glass side over here, the viewing panel. So you see all that. With thumb screws, of course. As John Hammond would say on Jurassic Park, spared no expense. And it's got a nice breathable mesh on the top, too, uh, where we can expand and add some fans onto there. So this is tempered, tempered glass. Let's go look at the back there. Plenty of spots here. Easy cutout for the motherboard, thumb screw. Opening for the power supply unit down here, and then our little slots there so we can pop in our video card with no problem. All right, oh, here's the thumb screw right here. So, let's go ahead, take a look at the inside. Thumb screws are the greatest thing ever. Make life so much easier. Set these off to the side, we're not gonna lose them. All right, so now we've got easy access on the bottom part. See all the nice wires already laid out here that run the stuff inside the case. And we'll go ahead and take the thumb screws off. So we we'll take the glass off. All right, screw. Take that screw. This screw and this screw. Ta-da, tempered glass is off. All right, so plenty of room inside this big, beautiful case to put this board. And it's nice because they already have the elevated screws in here so we can screw them right in. So this should be pretty easy. So let's go ahead and move to the next portion. Put the motherboard inside this baby. Turn it this way so you can see. Move the camera. And there we go. This should be a good, nice bird's eye view. All right, let's get this board ready. All right, so one cool thing that came with this board in this case that I've never seen before is a little adapter here. So instead of me having to worry about crawling down there and plugging in every single one of these individual wires, the power, the switch, it all goes in this little clip. And then we just pop this clip right onto the board. So this should make life significantly easier and a lot less butt pain whenever it comes to plugging these suckers in. So just a little side caveat there for a second. Got all these wires right here. Got those ready to go. So I'm going to plug those in this little clip. And we're fixing to start putting stuff inside the case. So let's do it to it as it were. All right. So before we put the board in, we need to put our little metal plate. Ta-da. So we got a little plate for all of our connectors and stuff. Easy peasy. Just should pop right in. It's hard to do this on camera. There we go. 
and then pop this one in, pop that in. All right, and we're good to go. Ta-da, now we can put our board in and our board will line up with all those little connector slots so they pop out the way that God intended them to be. And also the manufacturer. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the board. Take our board out of the packaging here. deal with all this tape. All right. So here is our fancy schmancy board. Make sure you can see that. I'm trying to do this from your angle. All right, so before you can put the processor in, gotta lift the lever here. That's what slides this, slides this over and allows everything to lock into place all appropriately light. All right, so we got our, tilt this up, got our Ryzen 5. Take that out of the box. Where do our handy dandy scissors go? There they are. All right, so. Got that. There. So you can see what's going on over here right now. Take this out. Voila. Ta da! Isn't that pretty? All right, so take this processor out. Now there's one thing that's important you need to know about lining up the processor. Pan back down here. You can see on the board right here, there's this little arrow right there. And there's an arrow also on the processor and that's how you know which corner to line up because there's like a million little pins on the bottom of this chip, as you can see there and they're very, very easy to bend, so you need to make sure it goes on right. So if you can see already right there, there's that little arrow. Put that right there, and we'll be good to go. Isn't that right, Lucy? Mm -hmm. All right, so got it lined up. Dropped right into place. Push our lever down, ta-da. The processor is installed. Easy peasy, huh? Mm -hmm. Lemon squeezy. All right, I'm not gonna put the thermal paste or the fan on right now, but we will go ahead and put the memory in there. All right, so which one is slot one? It should tell us, all right, DDR4231. So this one right here, if you can see, there we go. So it goes one, two, three, four. We wanna put it in slot one to make sure that it reads the boot memory when it starts up. So let's take this out. Get our G-Skill rip jaws. There we go. So I want to line the little notch up, which looks like this way. Slide it into the slots there. Push it in. Ta-da, we got both sides clicked in. All right, that's all I'm gonna do on here for now before we put it inside the case. I just wanted to go ahead and get that out of the way, show you nice and close up. Also, here's our little pin that goes right here. So that's gonna make life so much easier here in a minute when I get to plug all that in. So, yippee ki -yay. All right, so time for the next phase. All right, so this is really nice having these screws in here already, the little spacer screws, so we can screw everything right into them. We'll just pop this in right over here where it needs to go. Push that through there. Everything should be shown. Yep, everything, everything's good over here. Now, we can go ahead and start screwing this baby in. All right, so, got our screws in our pouch right here. Make sure we get the right ones. screwdriver make life easier. There we go. All 
All right, so first screw. Oh, I dropped it. Let's get it in the slot there. That does not appear to be the right screw. Ah, there we go. Got the right screw this time. All right, screw away. All right, screw installed. Got another one. Screw this one in. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward past the part where we get all the board stuff screwed in and we'll pick up from there. Alright, so getting a close up look at everything, we got the screws installed here, got the memory, the processor, everything's powered and hooked into the board. Well, it's not powered yet, wrong expression, but it's all connected into the board. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install the power supply. Do, do, do. Alright, so let's take our power supply out. There we go. No power cord. I'll just go ahead and get this plastic wrap off of here. All right, so got the power supply in here. Go ahead and start screwing these in. Where'd my screwdriver go? Somewhere. There it is. Lost it there for a minute. Handy dandy screwdriver. All right, so now we need to plug the power into the board. Here's our board power. Switch. See how we get this in here. This one's gonna have to be fed through a different way. If I can get it down there. All right, it'll fit through there, so we just need to get it through there. Now we have enough room to get it all the way across. There we go. There we go. They give us the extra room that we need. And it looks like it goes this way. I can see. All right, power to the motherboard, where the processor's at. All right, so I went ahead and unplugged this just so I can get to the processor better. Let's get you a good bird's eye view here. So take our thermal paste. There's already some on the bottom of the fan, as you can see here. But we want a little bit more. So let's do a nice little circle. Put the dot in the middle. Boop. It's like a Pokeball. Look. You know a Pokeball? Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. What did I do with the lid? There we go. Then I'll spread out pretty evenly. Now, there's four screws on this, so that should make it pretty easy to install. 
they'll install right there, which we need to remove those brackets so we can take them off. So, so I'll remove the bracket real quick, we'll be right back. All right, <clears throat> so the next thing I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna turn my air conditioner on because it's hot in here. So I'm gonna do that from the app on my phone. Da, 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 da. You know, let's make it 70 degrees. That sounds just peachy. All right, so now that we got those brackets off, let's put our processor heat sink fan, heat sink and fan on. So let's find out where, <clears throat> all right, so the CPU fan connector is over here. So we want to install this the direction so it's closest. So long in, long in, we'll go that way. Yes, this will be best. Now we got to screw these in. All right, so it generally helps if the bracket doesn't fall through <laughs> whenever, you un whenever you unscrew those. It's like, where'd it go? All right, so. There we go. One, two, but you noticed for such serious business, did you son? Mm -hmm. All right, so we got our wires plugged in over here. Now we've got a milestone to check to see if everything powers up. So time to plug in the power cord to the power supply. Plug it into the dear old friend the wall here. Let's see if when we press the power button, you see the power button? Hold on, don't press it yet. Okay. Let's see if magic happens. Press the power button. Hmm. Guess I put it on backwards. All right, well, time for attempt number two. All right, so it's time to see if it works again. So apparently what I did was I put the power light wire where the power switch wire goes. So, Lukey, if you'll do me the honor, hit the power button. Ta-da! We have lights, we have power. That means we can put the rest of the stuff in. So we're gonna start plugging in all the cables and we're gonna get to the next phase. So we'll be back after this brief commercial message. Watch my channel. All right, so now we're gonna put the video part in. Lift this little guy up, the gatekeeper. Pop the front end, got the back end. Now let's go ahead and steal that screw. I'm going to screw right here. Power cable here. Looks like it's going to go that way. All right, so now that some of y'all who probably know what you're doing have had an opportunity to cringe at what I was doing, I figured out <laughs> where the PCIe SSD goes. I have never installed one of these before, so I need a smaller screwdriver. Oh, I think that's gonna work.
Yep, need a, need a smaller screwdriver, but I got this figured out now. So, screwdriver, be right back. All right, so now that I got this sorted out, figure out where this goes. So we got that. Now just push that down, put our screw back in, and we're good to go. This is the difficult part because I had to adapt a tool for the occasion. My dexterity is not the best. All right, got it, Luffy. Yeah, got it. Got it. All right, whoo! Installed. There she is. Now we can put. Well, I guess that goes under there. That's cool. Makes it kind of a pain in the rear end to get to. All right, so let's put this back. That's crazy. All right, so now our hard drive friend is installed. Our video card's installed. All the goodies are installed. All right, so now you see how to install the regular hard drive. So let's give that a whirl now. All right, so this would have worked out infinitely easier if when I started this, um, I didn't put the wires through the expansion base slot, which for the hard drives and stuff, I didn't think that that would be here, but here it is. and. Here we are today. All right, so not the end of the world. We can make this happen. We can keep the dream alive, can't we, Luki? Mm-hmm. All right, so run this power cable here. Which side is broken? Go this way. Plug that sucker in. All right, got it. All right, so we have power. Now I just need to plug the other side in. Just slot on the end, on the inside. All right, there we go, ta-da. Uh, this is, here, I don't think it really matters. The L goes this way. You'll pick it up. All right, so. Both hard drives installed, memory installed, video card installed, processor, everything's good to go. I'm gonna do a little bit of cable management real quick. Get these zip ties on here. Just to make life a little bit easier because this is as good as it's gonna get. Alright. So I got the monitor. Got an Acer. 23 point, well, 23 inch monitor. It's got a, it's an LED monitor and it's got a one millisecond response time from my boy Luki. Woo! -hoo! And it has Radeon FreeSync technology. Light emitting a diode, LED. It has like a million of those tiny, 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 tiny little light bulbs which generate the colors and the lights and all that good stuff. All right, so. This has been a pain in the rear end, I'll tell you that much. Oh, there went that. Take that. No, actually, the base is right here. I don't know what that was. Something. Something, something, something dark side. screen monitor. Your dad hooked you up because mm -hmm. he loves you. 
I love you, Lukey. Love you too. All right, so my guess is that this goes on to here. I mean, if I had to guess, yep, there's a slot right there. And there we go. Now we need the base. All about that base. That's that base. No treble. All right. Got a convenient thumb screw. Hey, it's one installation I didn't screw up. So if nothing else you learned from this video, I can put together a monitor. Isn't that right? First try is a charm. That's a big monitor. Are you complaining? You want me to send it back to get you a cheaper one? Huh? Mm. You want me to send it back? You want a cheap? No. You want a cheap monitor? Oh, no. All right, there we go. We're setting up what we said. That's what I thought. Whew. Oh, out. Power by the power what, by the castle Gray Skull. I have the power. You know that's from mm -hmm. He Man. Durr. They remade it. Masters of the Universe. You know what I'm talking about? No. Oh. Is that like an 80s movie or something? Alright, so it appears that we have to learn about He-Man and the Masters of the Universe later, off, off screen. Since somebody here is uninitiated and uninformed, how are they teaching public school these days? Alright, let's plug this baby in. Can I turn on the PC? No, not yet. I need an HDMI cable is what I need. Is it in there? No, they didn't. <laughs> Cheapos, they didn't even give us an HDMI cable. Go steal the HDMI cable from something real quick. Okay. Alright, brief intermission while we steal an HDMI cable. Alright, so, for the moment of truth, let's see. Now that I push the button? Yeah, come do me the honors. Come press the button. Okay, press the button. Can't button. Turn the monitor on? Come over here. Okay. Come. All right. There we go. Right there. Right here? Yep. Oh, I gotta turn the power switch back on. Hold on one second. All right. Now press it. Press the button. Oh, that's nice. It'll help if the monitor didn't turn off again. Uh oh. That's blue. Oh, it changes colors by itself. Reboot and select proper boot device. Hot dog, we got it. Yes. First try. Woo! There we go, we got it. Alright, so despite my best efforts to screw all this up, the windows on this boot disc here. We'll plug that in. All right, give me the mouse and the keyboard. There we go. Plug this in the back. You are able. All right, keyboard. To set this up. Now, let's see if we can get Windows installed. And if so, we can move to the next phase. Which will be showing off everything. Why does this keep shutting off? I'm not the biggest fan of this monitor. I had to figure it out. <sighs> All right, gigabyte. Ha ha. Yes. High five. Mm. Masters of the universe, and it's installing Windows. It's working. Oh my gosh, the crowd has gone wild. Okay, so now that we've finished our journey, 
a building to get to this point and look at these sweet lights man look at that they change colors and everything hot diggity dog all right we're gonna install windows and we'll get back to y'all a little bit after we put this baby together 